Um, it's time for I on MPI, brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. I on MPI. That's right. It's an amazing song. Okay, um, what are we doing on I on MPI this week? Okay, we actually have a topical I on MPI this week. So we've covered all sorts of chips and wireless sensors and all that good stuff, but I want to have to break it down to something really basic which is alarm systems. Um, the reason I thought this was interesting is we've been uh, chatting with and working with um, uh, some groups of people who are doing you know, medical design, ventilator designs, and one of the requirements for um, medical equipment is it has to have alarm systems. It has to have a way of telling people that something went wrong. Yeah, you, you know, unplugged. when you see the um, kind of the, the intense videos of doctors in the ER that are like talking to like MSNBC or CNN and they're, they're live, you can hear all the beepings going yeah. on because it's uh, ventilators in the background and the alarms are going off because that's what they're doing. Yeah, people, you know, it's alarming. If something goes wrong, but especially yeah. if like power is cut, um, you know, somebody trips over, they move a wheelchair, you know, somehow they maybe snag a power cord or something, um, the device gets unplugged. Um, there's battery backup, but that battery backup only runs for a few minutes and needs to al- alert people. And especially in industrial or medical situations, it can be incredibly loud, right? It's already very loud. So a lot of people will use like little piezos for their projects with Arduinos and you know, you send a square wave to them and they go beep, beep, you know, little, little beeping sound like your alarm clock. Um, and those are great, uh, you know, for little projects. But when you're dealing with industrial equipment, medical equipment, you need something really loud. Um, so uh, coincidentally, uh, this week, DigiKey and Kui, CUI, uh, which make all sorts of speakers and connectors and stuff, came with a new series, a CPS series of sirens. Um, and these are like incredibly adorable. Um, so this is like a little siren. You can see the, the speaker output. Inside is um, a, a piezo disc. It even has a little mounting plate here. Um, and this version, oh, thank you. Let's sort of see it. This version has a little mounting zone here and you can tune it. Um, and then this version, which I really liked, is just you just drill a gigantic hole in you know, your, your wood panel and you just plug this in. And um, what I like about these sirens is first off, um, they're really lovely designs because they're, they're like enclosed. I like that they're solid, you know, they're, they're kind of splash proof, not waterproof, but at least you know, they're not exposed piezo discs. And um, you get just power and ground. And inside, um, you know, there's the, the PWM piezo driver that makes them beep. Now, I'm actually not going to turn these on. And the reason I'm not going to turn these on is these are like 100 to 120 dB, which is the same um, volume of like a police siren, but it would only be five inches away from you uh, from this microphone. And I really don't want to hurt your hearing. So i um, not going to turn these on, but just believe me, they are incredibly loud and painful and will totally blast through whatever background sounds you have in your factory or in your facility. And especially what I think is important about these sirens is because they're just power and ground, you can use them as part of a safety interlock. Because usually when you have an audio system built into your microcontroller or microcomputer, you have I2S out, you have a DAC, you have PWM, but you have to have that operating system, that microcontroller running to make that audio sound, that verbal spoken effect or those beeps. What's nice about these is that it can be completely analog driven, relay driven, um, read switch driven. You know, somebody opens something, it turns on, and you don't have to worry about like some software system that has its own alarm, perhaps. This is an incredibly useful backup that you don't have to worry about like, oh, my Linux kernel crashed or my watchdog timer went off on the microcontroller. Um, These, you know, you power them, they make an ear splitting siren. That's it. Very simple, very effective, and only a couple bucks. So check them out. There's a variety of different sizes and styles. Um, they're all available from DigiKey. Right, and uh, this, and this is, is the part number. This is the part number. Um, you'll also see this in our post tomorrow. You can also search for it on the DigiKey site. But uh, this is the 102 CPS 7560 11 L 450 and D. So that's this one, which I which I like. But you can see. I mean, these are they're not too big, but they are loud as heck. Uh, so a great way to very easily add an alarm, a good looking alarm system to your project. Yeah. And that is this week's Ion MPI. Hi 
on NPR.